let's check out the Capcom showcase. I hope it was better than the Xbox one. Let's go. Please, Capcom. Alright, the baby Street Fighter just saw back of Ryu's head. <laughs> oh, man. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase where we'll share exciting new updates on our upcoming games. We have some surprises in store and hope you enjoy the show. Of course, Once a Monster Hunter game. Hello everyone. Amriozo Tsujimoto, producer of the Monster Hunter series. Thank you for tuning in to today's Capcom This series got so big. We're excited to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which will finally be released at the end of this month. To kick things off, we've got a brand new trailer to show you. Let's this take a look. not really banged it out of the park the way Monster Hunter World was since then. I've been waiting for another game like that. Looks like Monster Hunter. Ha! <laughs> wow, uh, is this on Switch? Because it doesn't look that great. Let's go for a ride. Oh, I like that. That's cool. It's a lot of vocal call outs. Still got that fire inside you, old Gallius. You do as well, good elder. What do you say? Full steam ahead. A <laughs> very gallant talk in the middle of the fight. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's always a bigger monster. All these Monster Hunter games are kind of blending together to me. Which, yep. What? Okay. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. First, let me introduce a returning locale. The jungle area that debuted in the second generation of Monster Hunter games is back in Sunbreak. You'll notice that the jungle's appearance changes over time. It's a nostalgic area that both veteran hunters and new players are sure to enjoy. And of course, we've updated the jungle with new elements and endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Longtime fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins around the coastal area. From the Monster Hunter Frontier series comes Espinas. Espinas means thorns in Spanish. As the name implies, thorny scales cover its body. Normally, Espinas enjoys a quiet life and sleeps peacefully, <laughs> but when it senses danger nearby, it explodes into a violent rampage. Even though it can seem docile, Espinas has a two-faced nature that can be extremely dangerous. It's got a two-faced nature. Half the time, it's like Santa Claus. The it brings presents to everybody. Monster Hunter 4, Gora Magala is back. Gora Magala is a You know, if you haven't played all these, this means nothing to you. ...wing membranes used to sense the presence of prey. As Gormagala's sensing ability increases, its two horns change form and it enters the frenzy state. 
While in a frenzy state, it gets so powerful that the ground beneath begins to break, and it uses its huge claws as an anchor during powerful attacks. Uh, granted, this is translated from Japanese nearly 100%. which adds explosive elements. Gonna lose some element of explanation. There are still more monsters that have yet to be revealed, so stay tuned for more Sunbreak announcements in the future. There's one more thing I want to share with you all, so please watch the following video. This format reminds me of Nintendo Direct. They added an entire one new action, everybody. <laughs> Let's make a whole new game. We have one new action. A free demo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is coming to both Nintendo Switch and Steam. The demo will be available to download as shown. What about Xbox and PS5? Introduced today, you'll be able to take on Astalos. The new switch skill swap system, as well as new silk bind attacks, will be available for play. We'll have a few tutorial quests available for new players that will teach you the basic mechanics and moves. After mastering the basics, you'll be ready to take on other monsters in the demo to test your skills. For veteran hunters, an advanced quest will also be available where you can take on an extra challenging version of Sunbreak's flagship monster, Malzino. The demo supports multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Get an early taste of Sunbreak. I never see it advertise this you hardcore can demo. It Nintendo eShop and Steam Store page. Beard. Also, we would like for you to keep two things in mind when purchasing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, so you will be able to enjoy all the added contents. Following Sunbreak's release, we plan to release a number we of free title updates. Eight minutes? Please enjoy this quick video preview of what's on the way. Okay. The free title update. That looks 100% better than anything they just showed us. Was that because I was a... Uh, Our first title update scheduled for August 2022 will add Lucent Nargakuga. This monster will be a part of the first free title update to come to Sunbreak post-launch. In addition to the Lucent Nargakuga, we're also adding a new area, the iconic Forlorn Arena. With future title updates, we plan on including additional monsters, variants, and more. Our title update release schedule is as follows. The second title update is planned for a fall 2022 release. The third title update will come in winter 2022. And there's more to come in 2023. Okay. Each title update will include additional monsters and other elements. We hope you'll check them out. Thanks. This is such a downgrade from Monster Hunter Monster World Hunter to Rise me. Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. Digital pre-orders for Sunbreak are now available on both Nintendo Switch and Steam. Okay. Pre-orders will also receive Aww. a special bonus Palamute now they got us. layered armor set. We're planning on keeping you updated with more information soon. Please visit the official website and follow Monster Hunter social channels for more info. That wraps up our news for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak.
Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of the Capcom Showcase. All right. Now we will present the Capcom Spotlight Corner. The Spotlight Corner. Street Fighter 6, coming soon. There we go. The next generation of Street Fighter this is, is my jam right here. And has something fun for everyone to enjoy. Fan favorites Ryu and Chun Li will be heating up the battle stage right alongside some of the newest fighters, Luke and Jamie. With breathtaking new visuals, unleash unprecedented battles with the all new battle system. Street Fighter 6 reimagines What's the a new battle system? with new modes that will allow you to experience the Street Fighter universe. What awaits you in this game? Look forward to our next announcement later this Come year. Come on, man! <laughs> Celebrating the never coming out. That game's the never coming out. Franchise, the Capcom Fighting Collection will be released later this month. All right, I, I'm into the this. First ever release of Red Earth outside of arcades. Hyper Street Fighter 2. Five Darkstalkers titles and more. Wow. Ten of the best fighting games from the arcade era are included in one package. All of the titles included will be playable online. Mm. So play a match against your friends. I'll beat the or crap out of you kids at this game, bro. Enjoy a full range of online matches. Capcom Fighting Collection will launch on June 24th, 2022. Pre-orders are available now. Please visit the official website. Crossplay is a crossplay on the consoles. Play the games Version. you loved again. Capcom Arcade Stadium has expanded. Capcom Arcade Second Stadium coming July twenty second, twenty twenty two. Saturday Night Slam Masters, Magic Sword, Black Tiger, Eco Fighters. And more. All cool Combined games. For a total of 32 arcade titles. In addition to a bundle that features all 32 titles, each title is available for individual purchase and features, with lots of quality of life options. What? All players will receive some replay for free when downloading the base game. The bundle featuring all 32 titles is available for pre order now. Get display frame set one as a bonus for pre-ordering. To celebrate, get the Capcom Arcade Stadium title, Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. Free for a limited time. We hope you try out the Capcom Arcade mm. Stadium as well. Next up is an update on Capcom's new team-based action game, Exoprimal. Hi everyone, I'm Takuto Hiraoka, director of Exoprimal. We have a new trailer to show today that includes lots of gameplay. Let's take a look. Exoprimal. All right. I am the artificial intelligence Leviathan. And mechs are Your the popular thing right now, bro. You are a suitable specimen to join an ongoing experiment. Under my supervision, IBS Corp conducts its most important research here. Welcome to Bikitoa Island. IBS Corp? It sounds like you irritable bounce syndrome. For a live combat test. <laughs> Just gonna give you the, the shit when you play it. Their assignment wins. Oh man. My archives encompass exhaustive. I can't even tell what's going on. History. These annals are riddled with errors and institutional bias. Your species is susceptible to mass delusion. Fascinating. Humans this Overwatch? Other. You seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. You tear down curtains, yet fear revelations. Even when what is revealed is of your own creation. Combat data this looks is sloppy, required man. to develop Ooh. the exorcist. At IBS, we're always reaching for better. This is 1080p. Always. Humanity resists quantification, an interesting variable. Within your behavior lies the answer. What is variable shall become... There's finished. so many effects going off in this game, it's really hard to tell Humans. what's happening. Fight. 
and die for me. Carnage module online. I call your attention. It's like a horde mode with down. Overwatch. Calculating chance of employee retention. Chance calculated. Jeez, that's a lot of monsters to at you. you must I kind of like that, though. If you wish to survive, a more grueling combat experiment is called for. You will now witness a small fragment of the war game. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the volume. That guy's beard looked rough, dude. Man, that looked like really old tech. We hope you enjoyed the trailer. Now, I will get into more detail about like the game. PS3 tech. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Leviathan appears before players as a massive human-like figure or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs after being forced into Leviathan's infinitely repeating war games. Why is Leviathan bringing dinosaurs into our world? That's and the question I was going to ask. Why games? dinosaurs? Solve the mystery by playing the main game mode, Dino Survival. Let me provide a brief gameplay introduction. Exoprimal is a team-based action game. In Dino Survival, two squads of five race to complete objectives. Teams must follow Leviathan's directives and complete the mission before their rivals to win. They're racing each These other? These directives will feature a dynamic mix of missions. In what fact, if you... we just okay. saw some in the latest trailer. There's Dinosaur Call, where teams must eliminate a specific dinosaur. In if defense, there's two teams, teams fighting and they're spawning this many monsters at the same time, they can't be anywhere near each security. other on the same map. Teams escort a valuable asset to its destination. Destroy targets in Omega Charge with the powerful Omega Hammer. In Energy Taker, teams compete to collect the most energy. You also saw a glimpse of a strange and terrifying creature known as a Neo Tyrannosaurus. While there are situations where you directly engage enemy players, there are other times where you band together with rivals to take down a major foe. This variety of missions will keep players on their toes. In Dino Survival, the missions change based on players' progression through the game. The experience will be different every time you play, even in matches with familiar surroundings and objectives. By playing Dino Survival, you will unlock story sequences and also earn rewards such as experience points to increase your player and exosuit levels. We'll provide more details about this at a like later Warframe date. and now that we've detailed Dino Overwatch Survival, had a baby. Let's move on to exosuits. We showed two new exosuits today. They showed two new. Are all of them new exosuits? Barrage is an assault roll exosuit. It uses explosives to set areas ablaze. We don't have this game yet. Enemies with ricochet grenades. Vigilant is also an assault roll exosuit. It wields a destructive railgun to snipe from long range. We have even more exosuits to share with you in the future, so look forward to upcoming announcements. We have one last announcement for today. What now? Welcome to my research facility. We're conducting a closed network test for Exoprimal. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Okay. Help us test the game's online infrastructure and make improvements ahead of launch. Sign up to participate today. The closed network test will allow you to experience Dino Survival before the game's <laughs> launch next year. Closed we network test. Could it be more it? dry sounding if they tried? That's all for today. We plan to release Exoprimal in 2023. Just like everybody else, nothing's coming Until out then, this year. Keep an eye on our website and social media. Thank you for watching.
Next, we have a message about Dragon's Dogma, which recently celebrated its Why? anniversary. Why? We don't need this. Bro, this is old. <laughs> Who cares if it's Dragon's Dogma's 10th anniversary? There's people out there that care? Hi everyone, I'm Hideaki Atsuno, game director at Capcom. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this of course, celebration. Dragon's Dogma needs a baseball the shirt. The world of Dragon's of Dogma has since spread to various different kinds of media, ranging from games such as Dragon's Dogma and the Dark Arisen expansion, to digital comics and a Netflix original animated series. In the coming days, we will be releasing a video celebrating 10 years of Dragon's Dogma. The announcement of a video. Talking about how and what Dragon's Dogma came to be. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, we'll have something for you to enjoy. Cool. We hope you check it out once again. I played it. It's okay. So much. Pretty tough. It's like a free dark souls type thing and now we have a bunch of updates from the resident evil franchise they won't let this Hello, franchise die I'm will they Konda, the producer of resident evil village thanks to all of our fans village has sold over six million units worldwide it has everyone on the team is incredibly incredible happy to see so many people enjoy the game thank you for your support Wow. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. Okay. To live a normal life. She's near death at all. Ew, something just moved under her hand. Shut up. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing normal. She wants to live a normal life. And she goes to the creepy mansion. I like this character. She looks really cool, actually. I like the way they designed her. Her hair looks awesome. Uh, means nothing to me. I didn't play Village. There's more Village, I guess. Alright. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're happy to reveal the DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. This cool. DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. 
Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and this animations This playing third person mode, that's it? Mercenaries returns with that's additional it? orders in an arcade-style action game where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages Horde are included, mode. as well as additional playable characters, such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. We've really fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. The third edition is one you've Lady, been I can't for, say her name, Lady story, What? Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Mega My Seat. The Mega My Seat? There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this <laughs> mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space oh, who is can follow beyond this? recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. There's a point where I, 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 I used to care what happened in Resident Evil. In the realm of that time has long passed. Only face creatures, I'm sorry. The world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. How will Rose I don't know when that occurred, but it happened. Powers? Man, quite a few years ago, actually, because the games are kind of, I don't the know, DLC for kind Resident of boring. Evil Village Winter's expansion includes all three of these major additions. In addition, Resident People love Evil them, though. Village They're still buying it. Edition, a bundle of Winter's expansion with the base game will be released simultaneously. The release date is planned for October 28th, 2022. Resident Evil RE Verse will also begin service on the same date, October 28th, 2022. We hope that you are looking forward to it. What is that a cell phone game? What is that? Yeah, like how did you like stuck that? it on the end? Also, as already announced, we are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac. So on Mac, even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. <laughs> what a waste of time. In addition. The main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. Okay, that's cool. We're working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. It's funny cuz it's like the same it's next, still just the same game. A game that was announced just a few days ago. Sweet new Mega Man game. Sweet new Mega Man game. Nope. Or Resident Evil. The way the trees and woods look. I can't wait on something, right? <laughs> oh, it's a village in our village. Got our village game. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Okay. All right. A little bit of a preview. Nice looking woods. I just forget what happened that night. The 
pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. I guess you just gotta understand Hi, the old games well. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title okay. special, while updating it with Got modern it. flourishes for Another everyone rehash. to enjoy when it launches it. in 2023. Today, We'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more love mature it. and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information <laughs> Literally on the, the footage we just Resident saw. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, If you five, played Resident Xbox Evil 2 and 3, X, you'll know S, what we mean. PC. Go play those! The release date will be and then March play our remake of Resident Evil 4. We are aiming to create wow, a Capcom. War that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. Thank you. Well, at this Thank point, I'm so whelmed. Much. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not underwhelmed, but I'm around whelmed right now. I'm just at a <laughs> neutral stance. Capcom is not showing me anything I want. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Except Evil for Street Board? Fighter for a half second. Both games are currently in development. Oh no no! There's a fighting game for collection. That can't wait for the release. Check out the Comes out this month. Games. Interested in that? I keep buying those and never play them that much after I get them. updated ps5 and series x gotcha resident evil 7 which brought the series back to its survival horror roots and the reimagining of classic titles resident evil 2 and resident evil 3. these three titles built with re engine return with current gen features including support for 4k high frame rate okay and, and ray tracing, nice nice as well as 3d audio for an even more immersive experience okay 
These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. Oh, out today. Nice. In addition, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. So the first one, Bob, that was original Resident Evil that got a, alike, we hope you an enjoy update the to PS5. Level graphics. I'm, I'm curious to see what that looks like. Welcome to the family. That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. That wraps up today's show. What? You're as excited as we are about That's some it? of our upcoming games. Thank you to That's everyone, the whole showcase? And old fans alike for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. <laughs> That's it! For real. For the next year, this is what we get from Capcom? Is a bunch of remakes of Resident Evil? And a, a DLC add-on for Monster Hunter? The We're in for a rough year, my friends. All right, take it easy.